Thanks, Kent. Uh, probably a lot to cover. I want to start just by uh, congratulating Coach Mulkey on her 700th win. Uh, just an unbelievable accomplishment and a great atmosphere in here last night. Uh, as for the game, really proud of our players for finding a way to win. Uh, I think Coach Kiefer in, in southeastern Louisiana has a terrific team. They play extremely hard. Uh, you know, just when you think you've seen it all in a basketball game, you see something new uh, there down the stretch. And uh, it turned a 15-point lead to three. And I uh, was proud of our players getting their composure back together and finding a way to finish the game and win. Um, you know, availability-wise, Damian Collins still out with the injured shoulder that he suffered in the North Florida game. Uh, Jalen Cook, we're still awaiting the decision for some reason. Uh, he meets all the criteria. Uh, we're certainly hoping for good news there on, on his appeal. I don't know what the holdup is uh, without getting into the specifics of it. And um, Trey Hannibal uh, dislocated a finger uh, against North Florida, uh, tried to play through it at times tonight, and uh, was, was very limited there. And that's why he was unable to, uh, to play any extended minutes. So uh, with all that said, you know, really thankful to get the win against a good basketball team. And uh, now we got a great opportunity to get better this week, to finish strong uh, with final exams. Uh, and really, you know, reevaluate where we're at and, and focus in on what we can do to get better as a team. Uh, yeah, you mentioned it there on the offset. I mean, the, the seven-point possession there that they had on the two flagrants and the three-point foul. Just what, what was the explanation there? If you could maybe walk us through just kind of what, what they were telling you guys on the sidelines about that. Yeah, I'll have to see it again. I have not seen the clips. Uh, the first one I was told on a box out was a push in the back. Uh, the second one... I think is the one that was really in question, and I was told there was not an angle uh, that gave a clear view of what happened, and so they couldn't overturn it. And, you know, crazy deal. Um, but got to figure out a way to get through it and learn from it. Matt, you kind of shook up the lineup a little bit. Did, did um, you know, you get the results you wanted from Terrell. I know he had the problems at the end, and then Jordan came off the bench and gave you – and then also one more, uh, Hunter Dean gave you some really good minutes, especially in the first half. Yeah, starting with the lineup, uh, nothing to do with demotion, promotion, anything like that. We just we needed some change. Um, you know, I thought Tyrell got us off to a great start shooting the basketball. Uh, we did not perform well defensively in the first four minutes of the game. Uh, the last 16 minutes of the first half, I thought we were much improved there. I think we held them to 16 points over the final 16 minutes. Uh, I thought Jordan responded well, uh, hit some big free throws, knocked down some shots for us, had a big rebound there late. Uh, and then to Hunter Dean, I thought he was really good defensively and on the glass. Uh, their big fella presents some matchup problems in there. He takes up some space and is very skilled in the post. And I thought Hunter did a really good job there and then had a nice finish uh, on one of his post-ups there. Yeah, Coach, uh, Southeastern, obviously, a patient offense, uh, cuts, rebounds. Just what, what did you see defensively? Um, how, did you, how would you assess y'all's defensive performance? As I mentioned, the first four minutes, it wasn't very good. You know, luckily, we were scoring every trip, but so were they. I think it was like 15 to 15 at the first media timeout. I think once we settled in there over the final 16 minutes of the half, we made it difficult on them. Uh, we made them take some tough contested shots. Uh, you, know, you look at our field goal percentage defense, you have to be pleased with that, 36% from the floor, 25% from three, where we have not been very good this year. And it's an area we got to continue to show improvement. Uh, you know, The reason it was close, closer, they got 16 more shots than we did because of some of the offensive rebounds they got in the second half and because of all our turnovers there. Uh, when we took care of the basketball, I thought offensively we executed really well. Uh, yeah, you, you mentioned it there again. Uh, when you guys had possessions and were kind of getting into your flow a little bit, it was really look really crisp. But just the, the turnovers, I imagine that's been a, a talking point the last couple of weeks with some of these games, you know, 17, 19, 15. Um, just what, what do you think the, the problems are arising with those and then What's, what's kind of the plan, I guess, to try to fix that? 
Yeah, I think we have to really reevaluate some things um, as we go into this exam week. But you look at the first half, we had 11, Glenn, turnovers. And we shot 61% from the floor and 46% from three. Um, I haven't gone through and watched them all, but my recollection would be a lot of them were over dribbling into traffic and then some unforced errors on some passes. And so we obviously have to clean that up. Uh, I want our guys to play in transition. I want us to attack, uh, but we can't be so inefficient in the first six seconds of the shot clock because of unforced turnovers. Mike Williams had 15 points on five of seven shooting, four rebounds, four assists, and only one turnover. Feels like he's just getting better like every game. Just, what are you seeing from him, and how do you think he can keep improving? Yeah, he's terrific. He was terrific tonight. Um, you know, comes back to he's a competitor. He's a winner. He loves to work. He wants to be coached. He wants to learn. He wants to keep getting better. And defensively, he works. And so I thought he was really good at the head of our defense. Uh, they have great quickness and speed at the guard position. Uh, so I thought he did a great job there. But four assists, one turnover. Uh, I want him to shoot the ball with confidence. I believe in him as a shooter. I believe in all our players as shooters. You know, I know we had a, a, a poor shooting night uh, earlier this week. Um, but uh, I just thought he was fantastic tonight uh, in, in all phases of the game. Uh, yeah, I mean, did you like the, the punch that Jordan gave you guys off the bench? Did you like that kind of look for bringing him onto the off the bench, or do you think that that's something that's just kind of be going to be a short-term thing? Because he, he, yeah. he kind of ignited you guys there, I guess, after. Yeah, I, th I think he's a really good player. Um, I think he's really smart. I think he's really skilled. Um, he hadn't been as efficient as he's capable of being offensively to this point. It uh, doesn't change my belief in him. Um, you, you look at tonight, 50% from the floor, uh, 50 from three, uh, 85 at the free throw line, uh, three steals. Uh, that's what we need from him. That's what we need from him. And, and I thought he was, was very good there, uh, being more efficient offensively. Anything else? Okay. Thank you. Everyone have a great weekend.